deployment of the planet's first robotic police units. It became the focus of the world in 2016. Drop your weapons, you are under arrest. It's interesting because when I read him first, um, I completely related to the heart. I knew this guy was going to be intensely passionate about artificial intelligence and creating machines that will function and aid humans and, and, and be as valid as hu human life for, you know. What interests me is a machine that can think and feel. For me, it was really important to understand Chappie, the co-star, and it was a really big deal because a, a lot of the script is me talking to this robot, and I obviously know how Shoto is going to look, but how is this robot going to express itself? How is it going to emote? It is the, the namesake of the film, you know, uh, and the heart of our movie, and, and, and I saw some sketches, and it, you know, it's got these big expressive ears, and, and the face has all these, you know, emoticons that can come on it, and it was just so original. You are Chappie. Chappie. I could never imagine a different, a different person. I think I actually told him at lunch when I met him that he didn't have a choice but to play it, because if he didn't, then no one could play it. And it's, it's completely true. I mean, I, I am incapable of seeing a different actor play that role. Like, it had to be Dev Patel. Anything you want to do in your life, you can do. Write poetry, have original ideas. Jimmy wants to paint. Wow. What in the name of the Lord? Vincent is, is, a, is an Australian thug who um, is very averse to the idea of artificial intelligence because I think that he thinks that the makers of that artificial intelligence are doing God's work and shouldn't be doing it. And uh, Hugh Jackman executes him brilliantly along with his mullet and khaki outfit. There's a lot in this movie that is going to make sort of uh, fans of this genre cheer and scream and yell. It, it, it has a, certainly has a big scope. It feels very believable and, and yeah, it is, the action sequences are, yeah, they're awesome. You know, Neil is a very smart man, but he's a, he's a big boy at heart. When you die, I want to live. If you want to survive, Chappie, you must fight. I'm a huge admirer of Neil Bloomkamp's. I saw District 9 several times, I think, and Elysium. And um, so I suddenly got this script. I was working with Ridley Scott in London, and uh, it was so original. And um, I think he's fantastic. It was really interesting how he got to me. He, he just I got sent the script to me, and you know, I was told that I was his first choice. And I got sent this iPad. You know, that felt like it was going to explode or something. Then as soon as I read the script, I thought, this is classic Blumkamp in a way. It's very entertaining, funny, it's moving. Um, and it's also about something really important, too, uh, that will spark some discussion, I hope. I am consciousness. I am alive. I am Jeppy.